It's the Wednesday Drawing Show. <laughs> we are going to the dogs again. You can join in. You can click your fingers. You can go, oh, 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 oh. Woof, 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 woof. Everybody join. <laughs> My cat didn't like that. <laughs> the dogs have left the building. Hey there, welcome to the Wednesday Drawing Show and it is March the 10th, 2021 and we are in the middle of my Dogs of Influence series of drawings so the Wednesday Drawing Show is about that today and because it is the Wednesday Drawing Show we have Judy with us on Judy Cam. Hello Hi. Judy, let's, <laughs> let's bring you in here. How are you Judy? I'm okay, thank you. A little bit woozy today so I should try not to fall off my seat. Woozy. Oh, we don't want you falling off your seat. We can't have no. that. <laughs> no, but it's not, um, it's not, not sort of COVID not things and things. things like that. No, no, nothing like that. No, nothing no, like just, no. just kind of, it's, it's the weather, I think. It's the atmosphere. We're, we're, we're British. We like to talk about weather. And yes. <laughs> I think I get it first and then it sort of comes over to you an hour or two later. Yeah. And, and it's, 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 the wind is picking up here. And, and oh, the good. rain, yeah, Splendid. so you've got that coming. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got all sorts of people turning up. Uh, <laughs> we've, we've got our live drawing friends turning up and we've got Dumfrog, yeah! Octavian B, <laughs> hi Judy and Shoe. Uh, Gabriel, oh my gosh, I love it. <laughs> Karina, hola! <laughs> Long John, ahoy! And um, Gabriel says, hello Mrs Judy. Uh, dumb frog says hello i think dumb frog is your new friend judy uh, <laughs> they're all friends they're all smashing crew hi becky marie uh long john uh, karina it's freezing in scotland i imagine it probably i think oh, it's good be getting it up there aren't you yeah yeah and um I, well that's interesting i get some things first on my uh streaming software that yeah so anyway sharon cl hello hello well like i uh, said so it is uh, i have been have you been you i know you've all been watching all week because you've seen your, seen your names coming up kota that's a new name i think so hello there um so all this week um i have been drawing dogs in my series dogs of influence uh, Becky Marie is in Texas. Hi there. And uh, so um, I, I what, yeah, let me show you what, what dogs have I been doing. Let me go to the overhead. No, we want to go to, oh no, we want that overhead. We want that overhead, don't we? No, we don't. Yeah, no, we don't. We want that overhead. <sighs> See, I've been, I've got lots of different buttons for the Wednesday drawing show and I have different buttons for the dog show. And then it's easy to get confused. <laughs> And then some of them are the same ones, but I just, well, you don't want to know about the detail. Um, this was Padme. And this is Dandelion. Aww. And this was the Backpack Beast. Aww. And this was Mac. And I'm still not happy about the rough. <laughs> and this is Hunter. <laughs> and Sunny. And I haven't got the lightning. Have I a dark lightning? Where is that? Oh, yeah, here we are. There's dark lightning as well so so i've been busy um for a week and and there's a few more to go <laughs> and i had had a bit of covid um vaccination in the middle of all of that uh, which was fun i gather you've got your i'm all lined up yep you're all lined End up for month. your first one excellent yeah Good. yeah exciting and, stuff uh, and so I had mine last week and I was going to be doing something on Saturday and I, ugh, <laughs> I just didn't manage it. And it's, it seems like quite a few people, I think, sort of do have a bit of a reaction. For, for a day I have or made two, a note to you like that. that I have to stock up on shredded wheat and bread for toast. That's, that's very important. It's very important. It was a, a bit of special bread, actually, It was uh, that I was thinking Ooh. about because Mrs. Mrs. Rayner started... <laughs> making stuff called porridge bread oh, uh, 
in which you get remain the leftovers of your porridge that doesn't get eaten or you make too much and that goes in the bread mix and wow. and i think she's made it a bit too wet or something something she i think it's wonderful and she says it's all wrong i said no please don't make it right sorry <laughs> <laughs> she's determined to make it right <laughs> and and it kind of expl you know you kind of put cut a little line across the top of a loaf to let it kind of expand well it sort of does that and then <laughs> it just sort of explodes like lava out of the top um wow. and it has an extraordinary texture it it's quite rubbery and it's it's kind of a cross between focaccia and um crumpet oh, <laughs> And if you've, Good if you've never been to Britain and you don't know, you probably have never had a crumpet in your life, I don't suppose. <laughs> Hi, Crispin, how are you? Um, uh, there we are. Uh, Ron Paulo Ogalesco. Hello, have a good day. We certainly shall. And um, so, yes, yeah, so, yeah, maybe you need crumpets. Yeah, I must. Yeah. Yes, it's all soak up if, all the. If you're going to have the the jab, juice. make sure you're stocked up with shredded bread. <laughs> so okay, well, just make a note. Just make a note. There we go. So shall we do some drawing? Do you think? And I'll go over to. I, the, I must apologise uh, if I disappear behind a cat in a minute. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. We'll, <laughs> Uh, you, um, it, um, Gabriel says, I know you're speaking English, but I don't understand your word or you're saying about food. <laughs> <laughs> Karina says that bread sounds delicious. Um, have we got Paul Mayher, hi Shu from India, hi there, and Irina Magea, hello. We're uh, we're getting lots of we're getting lots of repeat visitors, aren't we? So let me find that. That's the right one. So I am doing these videos you've all heard this before but anyway so this is for people who haven't heard this before in in on the 25th of this month um i can wide, go wired on that go no i can go wired. Uh, there we are on the 25th of this month my book walk and the mystery of the Mill missing millions is coming out and this is part two well it's not part two kind of it follows on from walker the boy who can talk to dogs which came out a couple of years ago and so to kind of celebrate it's coming out and also because i am planning and plotting the next book um i'm going to do 25 dogs in march which is an awful lot more than i thought it was probably going to be <laughs> <laughs> um, feeling like a lot more it's it's feeling like a lot more and then when, actually when i look at the pictures that i've done it feels like hardly any at all but each one of those is pretty much a full day's work in, in sort of preparation and it's, it's not just the drawing there's, there's the preparation and all the tweeting and all that stuff that goes into it um and um so in in the third book which i'm plotting at the moment there is um I'm intending there to be a scene in, like at a dog show and it's a dog show of um, influencer dogs, like dogs on social media. And there are dogs, there really are dogs that have their own social media accounts with hundreds of thousands of followers. <laughs> and, and in fact, I had today on Instagram, I noticed I had somebody contact me, Let's see if I can find it. Um, it'll probably take forever, uh, but it was uh, basically it was, um, uh, a pet food, uh, a, a pet store, an online pet store said, "Can we collaborate?" <laughs> <laughs> and I've said, "I'm not really quite sure how you collaborate on Instagram. <laughs> Tell me more." So, <laughs> so, um, so you know, that's that's kind of how it works. Uh, uh, that, that's how this whole thing works, and that's what I want to write the story about. And so, I kind of want a whole group of dogs to turn up at this dog show, and. Um, and I thought, you know, do I just sit there and invent them? Or maybe there are people out there who would like me to turn their dogs into social media stars. Well, fantasy social media stars. Um, and sure enough, there were. And people have been sending me photos of their dogs and descriptions of their dogs and fantasy descriptions of their dogs. And today we have got, let's have a look, Opal. Oh, look. Now, Opal 
is a stout but stealthy solid white heterochromatic eyed pity rescue so now this is where we could possibly get um a little controversial because um opal is a pit bull terrier now they're actually banned in this country you're not allowed to own a pit bull you're not allowed to breed with a pit bull terrier in this country either um and i know some people get very um sort of mm, anxious about pit bulls and and i think and and i must admit there are times i i meet a dog and they've got that kind of pit bull look about them and i i i, I don't get nervous but i do think mm. <laughs> and, and it's because it's because of the shape they are and and they are built for fighting um and they are built to kind of look aggressive and i've been really really looking at pit bulls this today trying to work out what it is and they have very human eyes i think that's partly it as well uh, and particularly when you look at um opal's uh it'll be her <laughs> right eye the pale one there which sort of sta stares out at you and that's one of the things i really liked about i uh, wanted to draw here and oh, um she's so cute though but but look when you really look is. at the the shape i don't know if i can see uh where's that yeah oh this is going to be uh, quite hard to do but when you look mm. at sort of around there it's a it very huge particularly over here it's a very human kind of eye shape and um but but you almost expect to to see eyelashes and things like that there. Mm. um but there isn't and so you know maybe in humans we respond to sort of no eyelashes in a similar kind of <laughs> sort of way well, i don't know there. so anyway but here we have uh, but you see look the lovely description openly she is comical and talkative speaking to my family in a growly howl language that we fully understand and she can communicate her needs easily whether it be a curt bark to ask for permission to enter a room or a friendly growl when she would like to be covered in a blanket yeah i do that um <laughs> her greatest skill that she would excel at in any imaginary show is one that she attributes to her one blue eye known as opal vision opal oh, vision no. i really need a button that does echo here opal <laughs> vision this enables her to swiftly and efficiently see treats from extremely long distances with wicked efficiency even in the dark frequently intercepting them from other dogs uh, so I think that's a very neat thing for a dog to have. Opal currently shares an Instagram page with her brother Darby at at Darby and Opal. But if she had one of her own, she would be called Miss Opaline. Ooh. Do you think... I've been thinking about that all day, actually. Um, obviously, um, Opal lives in the States because you can't... I'm not allowed to own them over here. So... Um, uh, and she comes from, oh, I'm just going to have to open up here again because I've forgotten. <laughs> oh, I, I, I'm going, talking to, about three dogs today. I've been sort of working on three dogs. Opal, there we are, is from JJ. That's all I know, JJ. Oh, yeah. Right. Uh, it's JJ. So, um, uh, uh, and so JJ, oh, I think, is. Am I getting muddled up? I hope I'm not getting muddled up. Is in. I don't. Oh, I can't remember. No, I'm getting, it, I'm getting that from. I am getting it from from uh, Instagram. That that um, Opal, I think. Let me just check. So if I go there and I go search, and we go Dobby and Opal. Becky Marie is saying my no, dog has says... eyelashes. One the white oh. side. <laughs> One the white side. The lashes are white, and the brown side. Is brown lashes. Oh, right, so oh heterochromatic color. eyelashes. Ooh. Cool. Uh, heterochromatic being the, the different coloured eyes. Um, no, I, I'm, I'm getting very confused because I've been reading so many details about so many dogs and kind of which dog is is where. Um, and and I think I think Opal is up in the north east. Um, but I'm imagining <laughs> Miss Opalan. <laughs> 
would probably be in sort of Southern Carolina or something like that. <laughs> but but so, some of our American viewers kind of might tell me that's wrong. Would it be Opaline or Opaline? I, I can see her in playing a bit part in a streetcar named Desire or something. But that's <laughs> That's in New Orleans, actually, isn't it? I think. If I, so, uh, <laughs> so I'm thinking this is Miss Opaline. 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 Opaline, I think. And um, I have been having, let me go back to the other. I have been having terrible, um, this has been really, really hard. And so I've been doing lots of kind of sketching. Uh, I'm trying to get what is the essence of, of, of this sort of pit bull look, and I think it's like this great big, but it's not. <laughs> it's not that, um, and, and so that's not a pit bull. Well, well. Um, it? It, it it's the jaw. I think the jaw is part of it, um, and it, it it is this big chest. Is part of it, but I think it. I think it's the jaw, and it's this kind of bit around here. So I think once I got here, I thought, uh, now I'm I'm kind of happy now. Uh, oh, you don't want to see them. Um, and so she's spotted something tasty, which doesn't look terribly <laughs> nice, does it? <laughs> so, um, so I'm going to have a go at drawing this today. And, and I know some of you are drawing along. In fact, if, if you want to follow Karina on Instagram, she sort of seems to post her version of my draw, my dogs before I ever finished ever finished doing my own. She's so quick. <laughs> and I sort of go, I go to check on Instagram. It's like, whoa, where did that come from? I think, did I do, do that? No, no. And uh, so, what I'm uh, going to work at is is. It's a, I want a slightly quizzical kind of look, so I'm going to do this at an angle. Um, and I know, uh, I, oh, I can't remember, was it Lisa? I can't remember. Um, was saying about um, how, well, I, I was saying about um, Sunny here, which I think I did last week, um, how Ooh. I found it really difficult because I was starting with a circle and it didn't work. And in the end, I started with a square, and that kind of it worked thereafter. So here, I'm I'm kind of thinking. I want I wanted <laughs> this is the, the the center line of the face, and I'm going to have the nose sort of about like that, and a line underneath, and then we want this sort of coming out there and they're very very sort of soft floppy floppy kind of <laughs> mouths and lips so i'm going to do something like that i'm going to have this tongue sticking out there like that <laughs> and and then the eyes are going to be over here and quite far apart and i think that's another thing about them is that their eyes are quite far apart and um, Opal has this <laughs> thing with one ear is sticking up, like it's folded over, should I say, like that. And the other one is always standing up, um, which is a, a very endearing trait. <laughs> uh, and so we'll sort of come around like that, and maybe a bit there. And I'm just not quite sure whether to have a little bit of this kind of bits in the mm. corner of the eyes to make them that bit more human like that. Actually, I'm going to have the tongue sticking out the other side, I think. <laughs> uh, I think something like that. Uh, it'll be about... Uh, yeah. And then we need a very solid neck. And big shoulders and sort of coming down into the the rump there and then mm, coming very much forward and and this great big big heavy chest and shoulders and it's all for mm, <laughs> fighting <laughs> and um so we want the ears sort of going up there and there's this little weird little thing that happens in dog ears there isn't there sort of like that um and and then 
Well, the legs, they're a bit like piano legs. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so we kind of have these bits hanging down there like that. And then, and then the, the so this will be the, <sighs> no, I can't work this out. So we've got, we got the shoulder blade, shoulder, and then this will be the, the elbow here yeah so this is kind of then down to the ankle no no i think no i think even here this i think is the ankle here actually it's kind of hang on let me think no this must be the knee it's uh, anyway <laughs> it's not easy so and then the the paws are really really difficult because their claws are kind of quite separated and and um and, and so we kind of want to have sort of one there. And I've had to do a bit of work on paws today as well to have a real think about paws. And and so underneath, you've got a pad underneath. So when you, when you look underneath um, a dog's paw, you've got the tar car carpal pad. That, no, that's not the carpal pad. That's the, yeah, that is the carpal pad, is it? Anyway, <laughs> and then You've got the the toe pads there, which are the carp. Those are the carpal pads. This is the metatarsal pad, metacarpal pad. Carpals in the hand, tarsals in the feet. So this is looking at at it from underneath. So you have these pads, like that, and then, and then the, the claws are sort of set out, like that, and or, or the, the fingers are. And then the claws will then stick out on the top, which are the actual toenails. Um, so, so these, are, so these are like sort of the finger pads, basically. Mm -hmm. And and you have that bit there. And so the le so the foot is coming down, and you've got this um, met metacarpal pad, and you've got your um, carpal pads there. And then you can have the the claws sort of sticking down on the top there. <laughs> And they're sort of coming up like that so but then quite often that's covered in fur so you don't really see this bit there and and every dog their kind of their, their front feet and legs are at different angles and and these are much more sort of splayed apart um so so i want that to sort of come up with a pad underneath there um that's sort of do you find that there, looking like that. at your anatomy book has made this harder because you're you're more concerned with it being precise. I, I, I think I am more concerned with it being precise. And when I actually come to creating it as a character in the book, I know that I'm going to sort of just draw a leg down there and I'll go wiggle, wiggle, wiggle like that. <laughs> um, <laughs> and that will, in fact, I won't because I, I did something earlier. So I'll draw the piano leg and then coming down there and I will do that and then I'll do little curves like that right. and that that will suit me much more as the character mm. but I'm, I'm i'm sort of drawing That's characters and i'm sort of drawing a dog because i'm kind of learning to draw dogs as well you know mm. I'm, I'm learning mm. here too and, and so we want this to sort of come down and there so we can have something similar happening here two three and that will sort of come up pad underneath and then and also the um, Pit bulls, they have um, trouble with their claw. They have vicious claws, and so you need to keep them under control. And uh, and you can um, grind their claws. You know those little Ooh. Dremel sort of oh. mini drills, and you get a grill on the drill on them, <laughs> and grind and polish them. <laughs> so every day is a school day. So so there we go. That's the tale about like that. And now I'm going to get my light pad <laughs> and We're switch it on. some yeah, interesting information about pit bulls. Becky Marie yeah. says yeah. The, the pit bull was the nanny dog in the USA back in the early oh, right. 1900s. Lots of families had them, apparently. God, that's yeah. really... Going the to nanny dog looking after children. Yeah. Yeah, because I I think they're very yeah I think they're very protective of their pack. Mm. Mm. 
I think, yeah. That's and so they will be, yeah. Yeah, and, and, and of course, you know, the States is, you know, it, you know it's the Wild West and you know, and all that. And um, and so, you know, we're, we're, we're very sort of metropolitan country here, aren't we? <laughs> um, and, you know, I think in... In the states, in the in the wild west, and everything, you need you need a good solid dog to help protect mm. you and your family. You know, not not just from people, but from you know some oh, serious animals. wild animals that they were in, around in those yeah. days. And coyotes, they're probably still there. Um, so, and just a little bit of a curve on there, and then come around there, and. So we can come in there and and this I think it's this bit here is the cheek and the jaw and I think they're sort of built and you know, I'm I might be wrong I think sort of part of the um, sort of genetic makeup of 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 pit bulls and other sort of similar dogs is that once they <laughs> once they got the teeth into you they just don't let go. <laughs> And I think, I think that's kind of sort of one one of the things about them. Um, so we get that kind of nose there like that, and then that's going to come. Um, let me just have a look at my drawings again. Where I, yeah, and so I think I'm going to make that just come around there a little bit like that. Maybe a bit more up there. So I'm sort of trying to. Um, sort of bring a bit of character in here now and the tongue will be sort of coming <laughs> here we go oh and we're going to need a, a collar on as well aren't we and so that's that's quite a tricky thing on a, on a sort of a thick heavy thick chunky neck so we're going to want the collar to be something like that and it's not quite quite exactly so i'm just going to do something like that and then we're going to want to have a bone on there and then and then we'll have the tail in the background there in the background is that the right term <laughs> <laughs> um and i think we want to, sort of like that coming down there and this big big deep deep powerful chest it's just all muscle um, and we'll, a little carpal pad there, carpal pad there, and we have got dew claws there on the inside as well, quite pronounced dew claws. So that's the thumb that you'll get there, and and then getting these. They're not sort of like dragon claws. You don't want to draw <laughs> dragon claws. They're not great sharp things. I know it's something like that. Um, so you really want to just have them. Um, they're kind of almost sort of curved triangles, I suppose you would call it. I don't know, like that, and then that will sort of come up there, and we'll bring that down to there. Uh, so, any questions out there, Judy? While I'm doing all this, is anybody? Sorry, I'm. I'm being clawed by you're watching aren't you cat. oh you're being clawed by the cat <laughs> cat's going oh there's a pit bull terrier oh. <laughs> yes. um, uh, uh, bu, 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 bu. karina so, says yeah, do... this kind of breed is of dog is called dog argentino oh there's right this sweet old film called bonbon that karina says she recommends let's look out oh for right that. Because I think there's there's a there's a Japanese dog, and I think it's the Doggo Argentino or something like that, which is banned in this country as well. <laughs> there's three main oh, right. breeds that are actually ah. banned that ah. you're not allowed to, and they're not allowed to breed interbreed with them either. So, and so you see quite a lot of staffies nowadays, don't you? Which is kind of so that's kind of hmm. what people yeah, a friend of mine have instead, it. yeah. And again, Staffies, you know, they 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 look powerful and mm. menacing, which is probably what their job is, is to, you know, say, don't you come near me and my family. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. I don't want to get rid of that. And I'm I'm looking after this family. 
and uh, that is their job and they're, they're, they're bred to look slightly menacing um, but but when you actually get to know them it's a different thing altogether oh, I can't remember. Oh, I've got some, oh, 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 watercolour paper I've got some over here um, Gabriel uh, says pit bulls are not allowed outside without a leash in our county it's pretty controversial right Gable, because uh, he tends to get nervous when he sees ones, probably unfairly. Yeah, I think I think many people do, um, and and I and and but you but you'll you'll maybe find <laughs> you know some <laughs> some sort of pretty little poodles and everything are, are actually far more snappy and far more <laughs> mm. <laughs> likely mm. to attack than others. It it comes down to to the temperament of each dog in the end. Uh, but then some dogs do have a kind of a temperament bred into them and you know that's how they have been bred so but i was thinking in terms of the the story here this is kind of one of the reasons i wanted to do this is i'll just zoom in a bit um is then my um the the uh I'm wanting this series of characters and you know maybe I sort of thought you know maybe some of the um characters might sort of you know suggest plot lines and things as well and, and I was thinking well of course if we had in this country uh, a show of dog influencers and um, one of the great dog influencers in the world happens to be Miss Opalai <laughs> <laughs> she wouldn't, of course, be allowed to come into the country, and so that's a potential storyline on its mm. own. And you've got that kind of weird thing there. Um, Could she come in and, disguise? Well, that would be very controversial. <laughs> <laughs> and, <clears throat> and and of course, it being. Um, the boy who can talk to dogs that's why i'm kind of also thinking you know how would she talk i could imagine she would have a very very sort of um gone with the wind kind of <laughs> frankly my dear i don't give a damn kind of sort of way of talking um and, and you know which sort of i'm not quite sure how i would write that into the story <laughs> but um so i'm imagining for a start that she's got that kind of accent in know um, and, and the boy who can talk to dogs can he fully understand the accent that's another thing um so uh, but then also you know maybe she can do her thing virtually so maybe even you know over over zoom she can spot treats a mile away and so she can you know so maybe she can do things online so that's a whole whole sort of potential storyline to be thinking about yeah. i think and then getting that slight little kind of smile in there kind of thing um and i'm to think of this tongue's going to be kind of like that and uh, oh i wanted that to be more over there i think oh never mind and and it's that jaw i think this this it's these big wide jaws that um, are the real kind of breed identifiers aren't they it's kind of breed characteristic um, and then we want to have something like this so I'm kind of imagining that there and and also it's you know and then in, in a kind of a series of drawings like this you know the, you know they are controversial dogs should I should I draw one or should I not? But it, it's it's proved to be a really interesting dog to draw because it has got these characteristics which are really difficult to draw <laughs> and to analyse and to understand. So, so if you got questions, do you put them in the you know comments. Put them in the comments in the chat, and then uh, Judy can read them out to me because we have Judy here, and I can just keep <laughs> drawing. My job. <laughs> uh, Tommy, is I getting engrossed in in watching you draw? <laughs> oh yeah, hang on. What am I here for? <laughs> Dear, so what am I doing? Oh, yeah, she's got some kind of little Becky Marie name tag. Is, is saying it's very sad that the breed is stereotyped as bad. Um, yeah, 
yeah, that's what we were saying earlier, isn't it? It's, it's humans yeah. that made them fight. And breed is exactly. very loyal and will do anything yeah. to the death that the owner demands of it. Yeah. But then that, you know, that, that doesn't necessarily fit in with modern society. That's the problem, mm. I, I think. It can be yeah. turned against them, can't it? And yeah, absolutely. And, and can frighten people. Mm. Who, who, who kind of are uncomfortable around dogs, and I know. We're, we're, I don't know if I mentioned it before, but when I started writing this series, um, I don't know. I, 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 I've never managed to live with dogs, I, and I do like dogs, and dogs like me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Whenever we go on holiday, there's always a sort of a dog attaches themselves to me or something like that <laughs> on the beach. And Mrs. Rainer goes, oh, oh, here we go again. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and, and, and I really like dogs, but I, I just can't live with them. I can't quite put it down. I, I, I think it's they are they are very needy, aren't they? For, well, not they're not necessarily needy, but they're. They need a lot of intervention, which a cat doesn't. You know, the cat just goes out the cat flap and, you know, see you later. Uh, one, two, three. Oh, that, yeah. Um, and, you know, you, you don't have to worry about cats. Where's dogs? You know, it's, oh, no, it's, it's 11 o'clock on a freezing cold night and I've got to take them out for a walk. Or something. And, um, and there's, there's a lot of play with me, play with me, play with me. Oh, yes. Here's my ball, here's my that. ball. Yeah. Yeah, and when you want to play with them, of course they don't want to. So, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, and and so I suppose I haven't got a huge amount of experience with dogs in that case. So, but I had to put myself in the mind of a dog, um, and and dogs to create, to write the book. You know, but but that's what creativity is all about, and. Mm. Um, and so I sort of thought more and more and more, you know, I sort of spent quite a bit of time writing and sort of th trying to think like a dog. And where I live, the, the, I go out for walks and in the forest and there are um, lots of other people walking their dogs around, of course. <laughs> and, and, and I just, it was just really weird. My relationship with them completely changed and dogs were just sort of, come up and find me and things and i remember one one day i came around the corner and about six dogs came bouncing towards me sort of all different sizes nearly knocked me over so i sort of stopped and said hello to them and then this woman came around the corner who was a dog walker a professional dog walker and sort of came around the corner and went oh uh, saw me there kneeling down saying hello to all these dogs she's saying oh you've got away with dogs, haven't you? <laughs> so, uh -huh. I thought, oh, well, c coming from a, a professional dog walker, then that's sort of, yeah. That's quite something. Um, yeah, and, and, and I think I, I, by writing the book, I think I kind of changed my attitude to dogs, although I don't think, still not sure I could actually live with a dog. Um, you know, maybe, Maybe I should share one. Like, like Walker, he's not allowed to have a dog himself. Uh, I want to zoom in. And I want the lights back on. There we go. Uh, Walker himself isn't allowed a dog because his mother is allergic. And so he has this brilliant idea of starting his own dog walking business so that he can be with dogs, if, even though he can't. He's not allowed to live with a dog. Um, so, it's a jolly good story. Uh, Thank Can't you. wait for the next one. Well, maybe we'll sort something out about that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have um, to tell you, Opal is, watching, Opal is watching. Opal is from watching from the couch. Opal JJ is watching from the couch. Says, does, does Opal need a quick bit of? Oh, oh! <laughs> oh no! How do I stop that? There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Hiding behind the couch now. <laughs> <laughs> Hiding behind the couch. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do a bit of watercolour now. Yeah. They're, they're in the uh, USA, in Portland, in Oregon. Uh, that's that's right, Portland. I I, I just could. I, I thought it was Portland, and I just couldn't find it anywhere. But I didn't want to say it unless I got it wrong. So that's right. 
and and uh, but as I say, I think she's more of a sort of a southern southern lady, <laughs> kind of. Um, and so let's just have a quick look again at um, at Opal. And so Opal has this lovely brown, pinky, pink, pink and brown nose, and sort of brown on the chin, and sort of pink pink around the place but also she's not completely white look at those ears mm. they're little sort of tea stain spots aren't they they're, they're almost stains rather than spots so um <laughs> where, where am I? overhead that's the one i want <laughs> so um the, i don't think there's a huge amount of painting to do on this one because um she's very um very white. <laughs> she, apparently, so. she pronounces her name as Opaline. Opaline, good. Miss Opaline. Yeah. yeah. I have to go into my kind of bad southern southern lady accent. I have to. <laughs> I have to go. I want to say Rita Hayworth. No, what's her name? Um, <laughs> what's her name in Gone with the Wind? Um, oh, Vivian Lee. I have to go on Vivian Lee and say, frankly, my dear, I would prefer to say Opaline, but if it has to be Opaline, then that is how it shall be. So we want some nice pink in there, there I think. And, um, I, yeah, I, I think... <laughs> If you think if you think I'm going mad, then I, I do think quite a few illustrators um, do voices. <laughs> <laughs> I know they do. I know. Um, I know such several do, especially when you're in a li stuck in a little shed on your own all day long. You know, <laughs> um, and a bit more crimson. There's a little scarlety for the a hint of scarlet in there for the. Um, for the tongue, but we want to keep it more sort of crimsony pink uh, for the lips and all the other bits like that. Now we also need some sort of around the eyes as well, like that. There, and I'm going to put a little bit of pink in the toes here as well. And there we go. And yeah, so um, Opal is is kind of, is the second, you know, rescue dog that I I think that we've had on here, haven't we? I think it was um, Hunter got thrown out of the back of the truck. Do you remember oh, yes. that? Yes. Yeah. And um, so yeah, I'm I imagine yes, I can imagine that um, pit bulls and similar kind of dogs might end up in need needing to be rescued quite a bit i should think somehow mm. and end up in rest I, I don't know i suppose all breeds end up for, for various different reasons don't they so i'm going to have a little bit of blue um, um that's um french ultramarine and there's a bit of sort of brown mixed up in there so it's kind of making a bluey gray and I'm just going to put some sort of shade in here. I think I maybe. Oh, I think this is. I think I'm going to paint this quite quickly because. <laughs> um, and we're going to want some sort of shade around the back there. And so this is a a, a Pentel Aquash brush, and so it's, it's a water brush with the water in the handle, which flows through the brush. So having. So put a tiny bit of colour down on there, which is sort of it's showing okay on the screen, isn't it? Um, mm -hmm. As I kind of brush it away, then clearer water comes out, and and it kind of thins it as I'm going along. Like that. I did give mine um, a thorough taking apart and washing, and I used a bit mm. of bleach as you recommended. Yeah, I shall try did that, that help? Out on our Patreon yeah. Zoom thing. I haven't tried it yet. You haven't tried it um, yet. I'll, I'll try it yeah. on Saturday when we do our Zoom. Yeah. Thingy. Because we will be page. doing that. We're going to be doing a dog themed illustration y kind of tutorial thing on Zoom. Yay. 
on Saturday. And if you if you were supporting me on Patreon, as I know many of the people who are watching now do, uh, and will be with us on on Saturday, uh, you could be joining us. Uh, there are links. If you look in the thingy down, in fact, why don't I just go? If you enjoy these shows and you'd like to buy me a cup of coffee to keep me going, head on over to patreon.com slash shoe where you will find all the details of how you can support this channel. In the meantime, on with the show. Indeed, on with the show. And um, so, yeah, so uh, I've decided what we're going to do. <laughs> and I'm not telling because I like to keep that a surprise. Um, and we all just sort of get together from all around the world. It's a little bit dark under there. No, maybe it needs a bit more. Uh, we get together all around the world. So I do one in the morning for people who are kind of Europe and east of Europe. So we have um, Nikki coming in all the way from New Zealand often. Not this week, I think, because she's got something on. And, and then I have another one in the afternoon in the UK, which is then for... Um, people in the states who will have woken up by that point uh it might be a little bit early if you're in california <laughs> on the, right on the other side but um but doable if you want to come and join us and see what that is all about and you would also be supporting this channel and keeping it going the, the wednesday drawing show i'm sort of getting plans for now i, I kind of really want to make this a thing and now that um covid is well it's, it's, it's not going to be over for a very long time i don't think but um i think once once we're allowed out a bit more um and we've had jabs and things like that and we can actually see people again and talk to people again uh, i really want to <clears throat> get out and about and meet meet other art artists and sort of go on sketching trips with other artists learn their techniques and bring them into the wednesday drawing show just do all sorts of stuff make it a magazine program really and, and just make it really kind of fun and interesting so to learn something new each week and um and to be able to do that um i i keep thinking about you know who i might try and get as a sponsor for the show but it would be it would be so good if I got l enough people on uh, Patreon that I didn't actually have to have advertising mm -hmm. on <laughs> and having to be stopped every now and then and sort of say, oh, no, the show is coming from yes. <laughs> meaty chunks, um, you know, something like that. Uh, I think you uh, should uh, anyway get something from C White because. D yeah, well, I do use C White a lot and... and mm. But the the only the only potential problem there I can see is, is you know international viewers uh, you know get, be going oh we oh, can't gosh, get yes, stuff you yeah. know that's the only yeah. thing and and as far as they would be concerned they say you've got oh and they're all sort of international viewers and they're not you know it's Good. it's a difficult business that you know advertising and getting the right advertiser and I was thinking about maybe trying to. Go, go to Rotring pens, you know, because I use a lot of their stuff, you know, when I use their pen a lot. But they're really very technical, and I was kind of looking at their website, and they're, they're a bit too cool and sort mm. of architect, you know, cool architectures and that kind of stuff and designery rather than sort of illustratory. Uh, I'm, I'm a bit more kind of gives you more freedom, doesn't it? And it does, yeah. Doing what they want. Yeah. The audience want. And I, th I think I need another line under here, actually, because we need to have, you know, kind of there. JJ says you almost mm. sound like Opal's grandmother in Alabama when you speak for her. <laughs> <laughs> so, so JJ has a grandmother in Alabama, or, yeah, or does JJ so. have a <laughs> or does JJ have a grandmother in Alabama? <laughs> uh, Opal. Well, oh my! <laughs> uh, dear, Gone with the Wind is Mrs. Rayner's favourite film of all time, and so uh, so we get to see it every now and then. <laughs> and is, is Clay on? Is Clay watching? 
today. I don't. I can't see. And um, I think Clay's from near to Atlanta. I think. Really. Wasn't it? That was the that was the thing with um, Gone with the Wind, wasn't it? The 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 the, the advertising for Gone with the Wind. See Atlanta burn. Oh yes, yes. I think that was. Oh, my cat uh, is driving me nuts. <laughs> now I think uh, I'm going to get some do some little sort of brownish claws just down there and try and keep them, leaving a little kind of bit of white in them just to make get a bit of shininess to them i imagine you know some dogs click more than others on on kind of wooden floors and things and i should imagine hopefully clicks an awful lot you know click clack click clack across a wooden floor and like that so i think that's about all i'm going to do in there and i'm going to get some um this is alizarin crimson and this i think is phthalo Pf blue or what's the other one prussian i can't remember it's one or the other so that would give me a really dark kind of purple and um, this is a, a cotman sketches set which is kind of their basic starting set and um and i'm trying to try not to use any extra colors just to sort of show you that you don't need a big um set of paints to just start watercoloring and um, and then I'm going to add a bit of brown in there to kind of make it more of a dark grey so that I can sort of make that darker there and all the stuff I'm using today you'll find links for it in the um, in, in the description box below and it's all Amazon and if you follow the links and buy anything i will get an affiliate fee but you will not be charged anything extra but you will be helping to keep this show on the road so thank you in advance there we go and we want a bit of brown underneath there as well we have okay. another pitbull uh, fact oh right becky marie it's <laughs> pitbull <Yeah>, fact. <laughs> pit <ball> fact time <laughs> sergeant stubby was a dog and the official mascot of the 102nd Infantry Reg Regiment and was assigned to the 26th Division in World War One. I. I say, so is, I that, is that... Was a pit bull. For which country is that? Do you know? Is that I, the British Army or the American Army? I don't know. Becky Marie, no. are you in the States? I'm not sure where you are. Uh, um, so I'm putting these little... Kind of 102nd Infantry Regiment. Uh, I think that sounds American somehow. It does, doesn't it? Let's yeah. Just yeah. So I'm just putting these little spots on the ears. And then, oh, I just put a bit of blue in here uh, to make that a bit more metallic like that. And now we can work on the eyes, which, of course, are the most important part. So I might just add a bit more. <laughs> can always add a bit more you think you're done and I think oh maybe just a bit more and so I'm gonna just do a little bit on the nose there like that um and then maybe I'm just gonna add the thing about watercolor is it's about layers and so if you haven't quite got it dark enough add another layer but don't try to make it too dark to start with always just keep adding layers um, and is it right that it gets lighter as it dries? It tends you know? to. It it tends to to, to lighten up as it dries. Bit. Yeah, because because you've got the the water in there, um, and if you think if you think you put water onto paper, it kind of stains it a bit and makes it go dark. And then as it dries, mm. it goes light again. It so it's probably it's, it'll be the water that's making it um, look darker. And as it dries, yeah. So I'm trying to get some blue here and keep it clean. And I'm just going to put the tiniest little bit of green in there. So it's a sort of a greeny turquoise there. And then I'm going to, I'm going to leave a little bit of white there at the top as well. And then get a tiny bit more blue, which is a little bit stronger, a little bit stronger there and and just drop that in while it's still white 
like that. And then we want a kind of a browny green. I'm not sure I can. <laughs> uh, I think it's, oh, anyway, let's do that. So leaving a little bit of white there, and I'm going to add a bit of, um, that's burnt sienna, just, just dropping it in on the top while it's wet so that it kind of seeps in and f floods into the rest of the colour there. And I think we just need a little bit of, uh, shadow on the ground just to get Miss Opaline on the Opaline <laughs> Opaline on the ground Opaline Opaline like that um, Opaline sounds like some kind of cleaning product of the 1920s <laughs> teeth clean your right. teeth with Opaline <laughs> there we go so Oh, that's oh, I think just one more thing. Just one more thing. I think we need to do. Wag, 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 <laughs> wag. There we are. <laughs> there we go. So let's come and see what people have to say. Does people have yeah. anything to say, Judy? Oh, there's Ding. lots. I've, I've covered. All oh, right. A bit, but um, oh, I've gone orange now. That's you've gone orange. Better. It's, it's <laughs> my lights. <laughs> uh, I'm wondering whether. Actually, let's go back to oh, let's go uh, back to that, and then if I change that camera, oh, this is so technical. Uh, I can't do that now. Why can't I do that? Oh, um, if I change that then to <laughs> why won't it let me do that? I don't know what you're trying to do. Uh, I'm trying to change cameras on this one, but it. Uh, there we are. Oh. Right, good. If I change that to that, da -da! yeah. So we can then keep the drawing there, and we can both. We're we're all here. We're all here. All three of us. What have people got to say? <laughs> the last uh, comment. Yeah, oh, Sergeant Stubby yeah. was um, United States Army. Yeah. Sergeant Sound, Stubby sort of being sounded a that, bit yeah. more. Yeah. That sounds about oh we got two thumbs down. Great. There we go. Oh we got two today. You <laughs> don't know which way is up. So, oh. Upset somebody. There we go. <laughs> oh I like that. You don't know which way is up. That's a good Yes, yeah, that's, good that's one. all there. <laughs> well they're in Australia possibly. Or they're standing on their heads watching. <laughs> uh, but yeah, there we go. <laughs> right. So let me come up here. What have we got? Uh got a dog Argentina. Yes, I think I yeah. Um, Becky Marie, you got this anatomy down to good science, said Becky Marie. I think I thought, well, well, one of the things that I thought about when I started doing this, I thought, am I really going to do this for 25 days? Um, and uh, <laughs> so I thought, I, I'm going to learn a lot about dogs if I do that every day. And, and I think you'll probably find just in a week, I think I have, and I've sort of been looking up anatomy and stuff and learning about you see i mean i i've always known about i've always had no, known the words carpels and metatarsals and things like that but it's never quite sort of got it in my head that these are carpels and those are tarsals <laughs> carpels in your hands and tarsals in your feet um and i think i probably need to learn a lot more of the bones in between but um but I, I, yeah I've, I've i've learned a lot about um, anatomy and there's quite a few things that I've done with dogs before and I've just gone uh, and sort of scribbled it hoping that nobody would notice or I've put a football in front of their legs or something like that so that you don't actually have to draw it uh, and by having to actually get down and work this out I'm still not happy with those feet but I'm I'm sort of happier but they but they are very difficult feet to draw. I think so the, the 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 pit bull that the very particular kind of look to them, um, and yes, and, and and so but but I think the important thing is what I wanted to show by doing this is that you can't just draw a dog out of your head. Hmm. Uh, you can if you've done a lot of dog drawing and <laughs> you practiced, and 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 I've noticed particularly the back leg. Um, when it comes to drawing the bat leg here, um, I've disappeared off the camera, but never mind. Um, so we've got the tail, 
and then we sort of got that thing going on. And this line here on the inside is, is just an S curve. And, I, and, and I've been so dyslexic about this all my life. And I was, uh, uh, um, and, I, and just this week, I've just got very confident just doing that line. And that is about muscle memory. And, and my hand has just got started getting used to doing that sort of shape. And then we can sort of come down into the pause. Uh, and that's kind of basically kind of it like that on the back leg and 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 by every day pretty much i've been explaining about the about, about the, you know we got the hip and the uh, there's there's the hip and then there's the knee and then there's the ankle the little ankle bone there and then it sort of comes down this is the foot and then we got the the sort of tarsals and metatarsals and stuff like that going down there and by doing that and explaining that every day um, which might <laughs> get a bit boring for everybody but for me in particular it, it it repeats it in my head each day and as I'm drawing it with my hand my hand gets used to it and it becomes your, your, your hand has its own memory it, it, so you have your kind of top level memory which is sort of analyzing what's going on and it is about eyesight and, and what you're seeing but the but there's this kind of lower part of the brain which is connected to your hands and your fingers and these movements, which is learning these these lines. And when you first do it, it is quite difficult to go that way, go this way, go that way. Um, and the more you do it, uh, the the more you don't have to think about it. Just just like when you're learning to play a piano, scales at the beginning are just so difficult. But the more you play scales, it just comes naturally. You don't have to think about it, and then you can concentrate on on the creativity on the top on on the 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 emotion of the music or whatever it is because you're just pl playing that part automatically and, oh, and i think if i was yeah. only going to say if, if you if you a visual i find i i learn m much better by watching and it's mm. almost as if when i am painting what i'm my hand is, this isn't going to make sense, I don't think. <laughs> My hand is seeing what I've watched somebody else doing and repeating it. It's not yeah. a, I feel like an intellectual thing. It's a, it's a visual memory that's, it, that's being repeated. Yeah. I don't know if that makes any sense, but. No, but it, <laughs> it, it, it is difficult to explain it, I, I think. And, mm. and it's the difference in, in words and it's this whole left brain, right brain thing. And mm. you're, you're, I forget which one, I think the left brain is all language, isn't it? The right brain is sort of creativity and visual creativity. and stuff like mm. that. And um, and I know there, were, there was a time I thought, you know, stand up for the right brain and, you know, sort of, you know, do everything with the right. But, but in fact, what you really want to do is, is is to build build up both sides of the brain because you don't just want to be visual you know you still want to be able to to speak and do maths and stuff like that and and you know creativity isn't just about drawing or just about the arts you know it's, science is just as creative it, it should be yeah. i think so um yeah and, and and to to improve the mind that's what we're trying to do. Are you feeling it out there? Are you all improving your minds? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, where are we? Joseph Miller says, 4.30 moves to 5.30 p.m. spring ahead. Is that, we're not putting oh, clocks we would... forward this weekend? Is that this weekend? America, America does. Oh, right, this weekend. Oh, that gets mm. confusing, doesn't They're it? Always when everybody a does it ahead of us, times. I think. Right, mm. okay, cool. And uh, does oh, does England? Yeah, Baker, we, yeah. So Karen says, does England have daylight saving time? It does, but I can't remember. I think it's a couple of weeks, maybe, that we go forward. Yeah, I think yeah. so. Yeah, uh, Crispin. According to my source, the clocks go forward twenty eighth of March. There we go. Thank you, Crispin. Um, and Gabriel says we're doing dogs today, but I do have a question since you mentioned green. <laughs> my. Green watercolours tend to granulate like my blues. It's a good word, granulate, isn't it? Uh, is it 
for the same reason or have I got demonic watercolors? No, it's the same reason. I think it's, it's the actual material and, it, and 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 it'll probably be also the quality um, of the watercolors that you've got. And I think the more the more you pay, the more finely ground the colors get ground and and, and probably more expensive original materials that they're made from so ah, gran granularity I, I went to Greece once with a libraries conference <laughs> a, a euro libraries conference so there were I don't know what about sort of 40 people there from different libraries around Europe wow. in Athens and we were having a, um, a, a, a fantastic meal in a taverna, you know, all outside, you know, the stars and all that. And and so the we had the big lady from the EU there who so she was some some big wig from the EU anyway. <laughs> so she started going on about granularity. And this is oh this is back in the nineties, I should think. And everybody went, Granularity was that and she kind of went mm. <laughs> And this was, and it was all about the internet. It was, uh, it was, you know, how the libraries could uh, start using the internet. This conference was about, and um, so, and I was doing lots on the internet back then. And, um, and so I sort of came to her rescue and sort of said, "Well, it's, it's like, uh, it's like granulated sugar. You know, you get a big lump, or you granulate it down into lots of tiny little bits, and it's the same with content. Um, is that you, you have a great big book." like the Encyclopedia Britannica is classic, you know, so so you can either buy Encyclopedia Britannica or online you can granulate it and sell just a little bit of information at a time. You know, if you only want to know about particle physics, you can buy that little bit of information. So you're granulating, oh, right. granulating the content. So there we are. And, and that's the same thing with with watercolours is that they start off with a block of whatever it is they're making the green out of. Um, they start off with a block of it and they start grinding it down, granulating it into very fine particles. And um, and, and, and the more fine you get, the, the, the finer is going to be your watercolour. But if it's kind of chunky and hasn't really been ground down too much, <laughs> then uh, it, it's going to be granular. Yeah, <laughs> and it I will. Think some some paint charts do do give a, a sort a of granularity factor, don't yeah, they? They I, do. I think yeah. yes. Yeah, I yeah. It varies from put, make to make. Um, I should put here, Miss Opaline, and there we go. And uh, JJ Harris, she looks beautiful. You have to do this in oh my she looks beautiful sorry jj <laughs> she looks beautiful you managed to capture a lot of her personality opal approves sorry <laughs> <laughs> sorry jj jj says she looks beautiful uh, you have managed to capture a lot of her personality mm, opal approves there we are. uh mary chris may moreno says cute dog hi that's a new name hi mary mary chris breaking me great job Wash hands, wash hands, wash hands. Yeah. <laughs> I can hear, um, oh, what's his name? Uh, Bill, Bill Nye, the science guy. I can hear him. That's his, he goes on. Wash hands, wash hands, wash hands. Uh, Beanie 21 looks amazing. Thank you. Bobby Heron, I'm last minute Louie today. I'll rewatch later. Good to see you both live for a couple of minutes. Cool. Hi, Bobby. Uh, Bo. Both gaming, great joy. Do you think you could do a pug in the next video? Well, you see, nobody sent me a pug to do. I've got a puggy kind of thing possibly on Friday. Puggy-ish. <laughs> I got some, is that, or is that tomorrow? No, tomorrow, let me just check. Yep. Sketchbook. Oh, I just have to, don't look, don't look. Oh. I'll just see what's tomorrow. Uh, yeah, tomorrow, yeah, it's very cute. We are going cute. They're tomorrow. all cute. Another miss, actually, tomorrow. This can be another miss. Uh, <laughs> and um, uh, I think the ankle is longer. I think I think you might be right. I think so. Uh, 
uh, Becky Marie. But but again, Becky, uh, I, I'm not doing fo uh, portraits. I'm not doing a dog portrait. I'm, I'm sort of... Oh, I don't think I've actually created the characters here yet, but I'm, I'm on my way to creating the characters, and it's kind of learning to draw the dogs to create the characters from it. Because having done this, I'm, I'll, I'll just draw it much more quickly as a character, I think. And, um, and, and qu qu kind of the length of the ankle and everything do doesn't quite matter. And, yeah, anyway. And also it's very, very difficult that um, I haven't got a huge amount of reference material to work from. Uh, so, yeah, so that the, and, and certainly with Miss Opaline, I don't think there were any photos I could see really <laughs> properly with the feet. They were mostly sort of <laughs> nose right up against the camera. Um, so, so then I had to look at other other pit bull terriers, and I think, but maybe she's slightly different. Oh, I don't know. Um, and Becky Mary says, "Do you, always good to have a visual reference." It certainly is. Yeah. And Karina says, I never draw dogs before, uh, but definitely feel more confident practice every new day. And you say, I'm slightly um, dyslexic. And I just start, saw the beginning of Karina's thing. <laughs> I thought she was going to say, I never draw dogs before midnight. You know, <laughs> <laughs> That would be the um, vampire dog. Yeah, no, I got the, the, I think it's the night indefinitely. I kind of read ahead, I think, sort of saw that. <laughs> Uh, artist love do you scan your art or photograph it after you paint i do scan it yes i do and um yeah and uh gabriel says thank you for the advice mr rayner and we have run out of questions and things so judy um what do you think we'll give them 10 seconds in case anybody has another question or anything comment you'd like to make is that a cat tail you got there judy <laughs> <laughs> it's all about attention it's all about attention. Are you going to say had, um, Oh, back in. Oh, way, way. Oh, oh no. no. There we go. <laughs> oh, we got, got a few. Um, Gabriel says, thank you. Uh, yeah. Uh, Beanie says, do you illustrate books? Yes, I do. Although I seem to be doing more of this kind of thing now than uh, illustrating. And um, so, well, I think we've probably given to the 10. 10 seconds for for questions and stuff like that so i think maybe it's oh it's now nearly quarter past so i think maybe we will bring this to an end then do you think judy mm. oh, it's and, been a um, good a good show good and it's been fun and i'll be back again tomorrow um with a very cute little dog <laughs> So, uh, oh, now they're all saying, oh, yes. cute cat, Judy, no. Oh. <laughs> 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 it is, it's about 10 seconds, isn't it? It's a 10 <laughs> second delay, something like that. Yes. Great. Oh, Good. Dear. Well, thank you all very much for watching. And thank you very much for being here, Judy, and sort of keeping an eye on pleasure. things. It's a and pleasure. Did you do I, the Patreon thing, the little... I did. Oh, all did. right, I, I was watching comments. Uh, yeah, Excellent. no, I, I, I did the Patreon thing. So do come and join us on Patreon, please, and support this channel <laughs> so that we can keep this. Join before Saturday thing. and you'll get, you can you join can, us in Zoom. Come and join us on Zoom. Oh, Karina's asking again. <laughs> oh, what's Karina saying? What's Judy surprised? Oh, you have to yeah. wait. <laughs> Yeah, it wouldn't be a surprise. Three or four weeks yet, Karina. <laughs> Great. Well, I'm going to reach over and press this outro button, which has a bit of a dog theme thing to it as well. And so Hello. thank you very much for watching. Thank you, Judy. Take okay. care. Bye. And I will be back tomorrow. Same time, Indeed. four o'clock. Another dog. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for watching and make sure you click that little subscribe button and when you do, ring the bell so that you get notifications of when I am going to go live next. You can come along and join in and bring your ideas as well. In the meantime, stay safe, keep well and keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, practice, practice and I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye bye. <laughs>